Hello, dear aquarist. Today we have a special case on a cold water fish, a pond fish, which is some uh, problem that can appear when you did a mistake. Yes, we are human, we can make mistakes. In this case, I will show you what, what happened with a fish uh, during a, a case where the fish keepers did a wrong handling, a wrong uh, overdosing uh, of uh, medication. So the, the fish were the, the golden tench, a tinka tinka gold, and they were dying and had losses uh, due to poisoning. And if you could see in the tank, normally those fish, those golden tench for about six, seven centimeters, they should be more actively you could still see the foam on the water because of the medication, which was, was in the aquarium. Just after the water change, you can still see some foam. And you can see some of the fish here on the side, which are really suffering. Uh, you can see hanging here, there, they're not in the group. And some are dying because something happened with them. And like I explained, it's about the toxic treatment that they went through. And when you take out the gills for fish which are badly treated, first thing you can notice are very red gills. You can see it here on the microscope slide. And in the microscope, you can see this reddish bleeding parts, very reddish bleeding. This also happens when you had, for instance, a, a shipment coming in a fish with a high ammonia uh, content. Well, it's also poisoning. And also you can see here some damage already, some bacterial in infection, making necrosis and damaging the lamellae of the gills. So the gills will be malfunctioning and the fish will suffer and the fish will have, uh, will become a have a poor appetite and, and waste away. So you could see this is a very serious damage. So we talked to the fish keepers and of course they admitted they had an overdosis of a medication. They were not careful, it can happen. We are human, we can make mistakes. And, and so the, the, what you could do, the very weak fish, we should gently put to sleep with Narcomor Plus and recommend to help the fish with a good food and stimulate the immune system because eventually they have to come out and the healthy ones, yes, they can overcome, they have little damage and you can help them to fight off a secondary bacterial infection. And without using antibiotics, you already can start helping the fish with our Dr. Baslier Baisher's food aloe. It's made with aloe vera, which is a very good uh, herbal treatment, uh, good for repair and regeneration of the gills. Wudus are the ones which are badly damaged. And before it gets further, try to feed as soon as possible, uh, pro uh, provide uh, the best uh, water quality and good conditions so you can repair most of the fish. So, I hope this helped you to watch uh, my videos and you can see more uh, as a VIP in my Patreon. So you can learn more about cases of fish diseases and understand what the gills can be damaged by medication. Take care of that. Be careful, carefully dose, use dosages which are recommended and anything more will not do better for your fish. Some people think, well, let's give me triple dose. So you, more will be killed of parasites or bacteria. No, no, no. This should apply accurate dosage, which are recommended by your fish doctor or for your vet. Don't play games. You see the risk of happiness with the fish. You can kill your fish. Thank you for watching and being a, trying to be a good aquarist.